Hey everybody, this is Mayoro here. Welcome back to me ruining Mario Kart Wii tracks. We're going through Mario Kart 64 remakes in Mario Kart Wii, and we're scaling them up by 64, but only the Y axis. So, uh, can you do a little demonstration? Zoom in on Baby Mario a second. Right, make Baby Mario, like, twice as big in all directions. Okay, now show what Baby Mario would be like if he was, like, twice as big, but only on the Y axis. Just stretch, stretch him up. There we are, thank you. Looks great. Now imagine that, but magnified by 32 times. <laughs> so I got a list of tracks for us to play today. We're going to be playing N64 Warrior Stadium, N64 Sherbet Land, N64 DK's Jungle Parkway, N64 Yoshi's Valley, N64 Banshee Boardwalk, and N64 Rainbow Road. If you want to play these, the download in the description. They should work for the CTGP, so yeah, let's go. Alright, starting things off, we have N64 Warrior Stadium. And it looks magnificent. <laughs> if you haven't seen already, this is part two, so we have already covered six Mario Kart 64 tracks already. Um, make sure to check out the other episode. What is that camera? Okay, there it is. Let's see how this goes. Um, I think we're falling right now. I think we're falling. It's kind of hard to tell if we're falling or not. I'm certainly not able to move. I think we're stuck on a wall. I think that's what's going on here. They're all getting counted out of bounds, but we can't with a player. Um, are they making progress? Looking at the minimap, it is unclear if they're making progress. Hang on a minute. Sometimes it's worth checking out these things in time trials just in case. But it didn't look like it. No, I'm on a horizontal wall right now and I just can't move. Uh, good start, I guess. Let's, let's explore with Dolphin's free cam. Yeah, so by the looks of things, with Dolphin's free cam, the track is here, but we're just way above it. So let's just free cam around so we can at least have a good look at the track. Such a shame we're missing out on <laughs> driving on this lovely creation. Looks like it would have been lots of fun. Oh my god, that's just horrifying. Well, that's the next ball. Go to Sherbet Land. Now, we have done this track already uh, 30 times bigger, but this is 64 times bigger. So. It should be a noticeable difference when we go into the cave, um, but I'll skip the intro cutscene because we've already seen that in one of the previous videos. Now the great thing about Sherbet Land, it's entirely flat apart from the cave, so everything is like, obviously it doesn't look normal, but driving it is going to feel normal. Like, <laughs> it, it just feels like normal Sherbet Land when you're driving this, apart from the fact you can't really see where the penguins are, everything feels the same. But then we get to the ramp, <laughs> let's uh, go, we go on the ramp. And then the ramp is just... I mean, I'm pretty sure the ramp was already slower, but now, now it's definitely slower. Like, there's not a, not a shadow of doubt in my mind that, uh, <laughs> that the ramp is slower. And now we just fall. We fall into the cave. It's like we're flying. Because we're, not, we're certainly not landing anytime soon. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, oh, we got a hop. A cool hop there. And now we're coming back down. And it, and it actually feels like a cave now. That's the best part. It feels like a real cave. So epic. Got a blue shell, dude. Got a power block. Honestly, the thing is with these track, sometimes you can't even tell. Did I remember to switch it out from the 30 times bigger pack or not? You know, it's impossible to tell if this is scaled up or not from the previous one. I might just be replaying the 30 times bigger one for all I know. But I, I think this does feel bigger, because um, I, I don't remember the start line being uh, raised up like it was. And there seem to be a few glitchy spots, even in the flat ground, where it's trying to scale it up. Which is kind of funny. I am curious to see, like, um, you know... Yeah, look at that. The collision is so whack. We tried this previously, but I'm wondering if we can just dive off the edge or land in the water and respawn on the other side or something. That'd be funny. Not before we get blue shelled, though. Alright. I mean, if it gives us a mushroom, I'll take it, dude. Okay, so let's turn around like this. And then... What? Oh. Oh, we didn't really land that close to it. Let's give that another go, I think. We'll just get off, like, really slowly. There we are. That's a bit closer. It probably still won't count, though, will it? No. Okay. I'll finish the lap. I'm not going to do full races of these, because they are too long and tedious. <laughs> But, um, you know, it's enough to showcase them, and the download is, of course, in the description if you want to try them yourself. I think this one might be another one of those ones um, that could be viable for uh, playing online. 
Uh, just like Mario Raceway was. Yeah, this track was nice. Nice and relaxing for the most part. I, I still don't understand why this is raised up like it is. It's so weird. That's just like... <laughs> just shroom off the edge. Dude, I'm wondering, do you think you can do the ultra shortcut? Because, like, you won't need the clip anymore? And I'm curious now, like, what if I just came over here and I was like, hey, I'm gonna, like, <laughs> I'm just gonna room off over here. I don't know how they do it in the ultra shortcut. Judging on my, uh, oh my god, that actually worked! <laughs> the ultra shortcut actually worked. That's great. I think you have to go back a bit, uh, to make it work. Is this actually gonna count? Oh my god! <laughs> It actually worked! Oh my god, that's great. That's actually great. Next up, we're going to DK's Jungle Parkway. Ah! <laughs> that cannon looks very healthy. All of this level looks very healthy. Can't wait to explore the cave and the rest of the track. I, I can't think of anything in this track that looks unhealthy or not fun to play on. Alright, we're going for it. <laughs> Okay, so this already looks substantially different from the version we played um, when it was 30 times bigger. Like, this looked way different. Way worse, I think, is the correct way of putting it. Um, but I'm, I'm excited to go up the cannon. <laughs> Look at this, this actually... No, in all fairness, this actually isn't that bad. Um, it's kind of funny. There aren't any obnoxiously long stretches yet. I mean, they are all kind of obnoxiously long, but you get what I mean. The cannon just goes directly downwards. There's just all these floating road markings as well, like, that's really getting me. It's so funny how that works. Just climbing up, making the making the ranks right here, dude. Alright, let's make some turns. Let's go, we're bouncing around. And these aren't even walls, like, these are the edges of the track. But they just look like walls. <laughs> Which is kind of helpful, to be honest. It's kind of annoying to tell where you're going in this track normally, you know, with the road being all curved. But now, it looks like walls, so we know to turn around there, you know? And uh, this is grass, apparently. Okay, I thought it was a tree, but it's not. Donate to Team Trees, by the way. I'm, I'm a bit late to saying it, but do it. It's very, very important. Trees are cool. I like, I like them. Baby Mario, please hurry up. Okay, we're almost at the end. Almost there. Almost there. Thank God. Come on. Ah, to you too, Luigi. Oh, damn, I missed the item box. Not that I ha was trailing my item behind me anyway, so it wouldn't have given it to me anyway. But Hi, Luigi. You trying to smite me, dude? No, no. He oh, he actually fell. Okay, well done, Luigi. You suck. Oh, no. Oh, dear. No, I'm not gonna go around. I, I'm gonna go across the off-road. I feel like it's gonna be faster than trying to go, go around that curved surface. I take it back. I'm now going across the curved surface. <laughs> Alright, <then. laughs> the off-road part was too steep. It's already pretty steep in the original, so trying to up it by uh, 64. I, I can understand why that might make it unplayable. Thankfully, we're almost at the end of this track. It's a bit long. Probably wouldn't work online. Um, I mean, work online, but you wouldn't be clearing it, is my point. What is my life coming to you guys? Why do I do this? <laughs> Alright, we made it. Cool. Just a final thing out of interest. Can we, like, launch ourselves off here? No, there's an invisible wall. I think we established that last time. Oh well. Next up, we're going to N64 Yoshi's Valley. <laughs> Oh god. Part of me hopes that it won't work, so I don't have to play it. But, um, no, I, of course I want it to work for the video. Um, I'm not sure what those things are. I'm not seeing much evidence of the track. Please don't be another invisible track. I don't think I can cope with that. Oh no, it's another invisible track. No. Maybe we're just falling? No, it's another invisible track. Why? Why, dude? Okay, we have to just kind of guess where we're going. So there's an iron box, and then there's usually a turn in there. There's usually a bit of a turn going on. Um, and then we keep turning, and then there's some spinies. Okay, we can see the spinies down there. Um, and we can also see the Yoshi egg. Let's try and aim for the spinies, at least. Got a guard golden to help us out. We're falling down, is that because we messed up? Can't tell to be honest, let's hold down tab. 
Oh no, we don't need to hold it down yet. Okay, so there's people driving next to us, so we probably goofed up. Okay, we definitely goofed up, but the question is, where are we now? Okay, it looks like we're heading back towards those spinies. Let's just keep going in a straight line. Okay, I already give up. Next up, we got N64 Banshee Boardwalk. Please, I'm begging you, please work. I mean, I can just black screen, I guess. Cool. This is gonna be a long video, isn't it? All right, well, the final one's Rainbow Road. It better work. <laughs> it better work, because this video is short. There's like nothing going on in it. Okay, there we go, Alex. Promising, is that the right word? Oh my god, right, that's, like, that's gonna be the thumbnail right there. <laughs> that's the thumbnail. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm gonna try and do one full lap of this. It's probably gonna take me forever, but I will try to do an entire lap. <laughs> all right, we're going. First of all, we got this long drop. This is probably gonna take like 20 minutes as it is. <laughs> I'll see you at the bottom of it. Let's quickly zoom out with free cam. Oh my god. This is gonna take forever. Yeah, I think we're about to land on it. Okay, and thank god, because I'm worried about going over that fence. Thankfully, you can't really fall off on this track. Um, so we are protected by guardrails in case there's some stupid jump. Looks like the CPUs aren't really gonna be making it this far because I just saw King Boo disappear, so we respawned. You know, I'm gonna permanently change the emulation speed. Okay, the emulation speed is per permanently at 200%. Uh, that should be interesting, to say the least. I'm not liking the look at that dip. You, you can see that dip through the track. I'm hoping that's not a clipping spot, because if it is, we could get screwed over by, by a bad respawn. I'm very scared about it. I can see the bottom, which is very, very exciting. It's almost time to go somewhere new. Oh, it's time to go somewhere new. We're doing it. Oh, actually, some of the CPUs actually made it. That's surprising. Hey, Badger Jr., how you doing? Hey King Boo, how are you doing? Hey Toad? Oh, the CPUs are actually making it. How are they doing it so much faster than me? Oh, because they're counting them out of bounds and they're respawning ahead. That's what's going on. Uh, some of them are going the wrong way, as you do. I don't know why they felt that was necessary, but they did. Guys, let me remind you, we're three minutes and a half in and we have not turned yet. <laughs> we have not We are still on the first straightaway. <laughs> Look at this, dude. It's so whack. Alright, is this a flat part? Nice, dude, we got a flat part. Okay, sorry, it's a little bit difficult for me to drive with the emulation speed at uh, double, but I'm giving it a go. Maybe I should do some videos trying to drive at like double speed. If you guys are interested, maybe that can make a good video. Okay, come on, come on. I gotta do it, it's the only way to make this bearable. <laughs> oh my god, well, I'm too scared to like jump. Luckily there's sticky road, so it isn't really letting me jump off. Yeah, I do not want to fall over the railing and then something bad happened, or the lap didn't count, or whatever. Okay, I can see the ending again. Looks like we're making progress, and I think the bit we're about to go onto now is the spiral. Although, it won't really look like a spiral anymore, <laughs> to be honest. Watch out here, we don't want to accidentally clip through. There we go. Okay, I guess this is meant to be a spiral. There's item boxes and everything for us to enjoy. Got red shells, dude. Dude, we are decimating these guys. I mean, the red shells aren't doing so well. The red shells are literally falling through the floor. Which is something, to say the least. I'm just impressed with the CPUs. Like, they managed to stay ahead of me for the most part. We're still trying to overtake them. There's King Boo over there. That's probably all naturally too bad. Um, now we're just onto another really fun straightaway. But it's a bit more varying, you know? It varies in uh, steepness, you know? Is this another flat section? It looks like we're about to reach another flat section here. That's nice. That's a nice change of pace. <laughs> oh yeah, but we got another drop right here. Let's make sure we're aimed. Lined up, dude. There we go. Oh, this is the one I was scared of. This was the one that I think looks like a clipping spot. So hopefully we land before we get there. Yeah, okay, we will. Okay, L looking at it, it doesn't look like it's gonna be too bad. I think there's a little bit of flat ground before it. Yeah, there's a little bit of flat ground here. Ah, uh, that blue shell was terrifying. I'm hoping if it hits me, it's not gonna like launch me all the way back down to the bottom of the slope. It probably will though, because this is Mario Kart. Mario Kart's not fair. Oh my god, please just get up, dude. Got bloopered. 
What a shame. <laughs> I think we might be nearing the end. Looking at the minimap, it looks like there's only like two more loops to go across. So definitely turning it up to uh, twice the emulation speed was very good for my sanity. Because now I've only been driving in f for five minutes real time. Whereas in, in game time it's been over ten minutes. <laughs> Obviously, this has been cut out a lot, mainly to the parts of me talking, because there's really not much to see in this track. It's just long for the sake of being long, but if you want to beat it, if you want to do all three laps, because I'm not going to do them, but if you want to do all three laps on your own, remember the download is in the description, and credits to all the different custom track creators whose tracks got ruined for this video. <laughs> Another blue shell is on the way. To celebrate, let's hit ourselves with a fake item box. Very cool. Dude, you can just about see the top. See that up there? I feel like the top is where the goal is. And we're just slowly but surely making our way there. Oh my god. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're going through the center bit of the mini-map. The bit that looks a bit like a dingle-dongle. There's more items coming up. We're making it, dude. We're making it. We got our bananas. <laughs> I see the Mario Kart sign. Zoom in on it. Oh. Now zoom in on it. There we are. Look at it. No one's glory. Isn't that beautiful? Let's get there. Together, we will do this. Oh my god. We're gonna do it. Yes! It counts. It looks like it just automatically does all three laps for us. Thank god. Let's turn the emulation speed back. But yeah, thanks so much for watching this series. I'm sorry about the tracks I couldn't get to work. But I tried my best. <laughs> if you enjoyed, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Because I like subscribers, and we're all scared about copper. So, you know, subscribe. If I get marketed for kids, you know, I'm gonna need, uh, gonna need some more people. Just, yeah. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs>